Hello everyone, I welcome you all again to another episode of Folklore and Culture. It's interesting to notice that so many tribal narratives, so many indigenous tales and myths are connected to the mainstream narratives. Today we are going to talk about a beautiful tribe from Bastar, Chhattisgarh, which is called Muria. Like my previous video, this is also a tale which connects the tribal community, indigenous community with the mainstream community. We can see how this, uh, these two narratives intermingle to form this beautiful myth and legend. So the narrative which I am going to talk about today is from the Muria community. We might have heard a lot about Muria community who are very liberated and they have a different take altogether in understanding gender and sexuality. So let's go forward with this beautiful tale from Muria tribe. One day Bhim, who is a character in Mahabharat, was passing through this deep dark forest and he heard that so many trees were fighting among themselves and there was so much of noise. So he asked that what is this ruckus? What is happening? So uh, one of the tree uh, said that uh, there is a problem actually. You all humans have a king or a government to you know um, lead you or protect you whenever it's needed but we trees we don't have a government we don't have a king also Bhim said so what's the problem find a king the trees asked Bhim for help so that uh, they can find a king Bhim got an idea he said that I will push each of the trees uh, with all my strength and the tree which will not bend or uh, collapse will be your king. So everybody agreed and Bhim started pushing each of the tree in the uh, vicinity. So finally there were three trees which he could not bend. So these three trees were tamarind, banyan and people tree. So now there was a huge confusion. Who will be the king among Tamarind, Banyan and people? So they decided to go to Lord Brahma. And they went to Lord Brahma and Lord Brahma said that, Okay, I decide Tamarind be the king. So everyone was shocked that without any reason, why Tamarind got this opportunity? So he said that a king always needs a good minister so that he can get information from every nook and corner. He said that Bunyan would be the minister. Why? Because he has uh, such big vast roots so that he can uh, penetrate and get information from every corner. Then Brahma continued that I appoint people as the guard. So the people was appointed as a guard because it will uh, stand tall in case of any kind of storm or um, wind. This people tree will rustle its leaf and let everybody know that a storm is coming. Another interesting thing which I feel um, we should notice in this particular narrative is the importance of good governance and importance of ecology so that we can find in plenty in indigenous narratives thank you so much for watching till the end if you have any questions do reach out to me and do not forget to like share and subscribe